Andy was a young boy with a big imagination. He loved playing with all his toys, but his favorite was a cowboy doll named Sheriff Woody. And when no one was around, Andy's toys came to life. Okay, everybody, coast is clear. Andy's family was moving soon, and Woody was trying to keep the toys organized. Woody called the toys to order. Okay, uh, oh yes, one uh, minor note here. Andy's birthday party has been moved for today. Suddenly, Ham the piggy bank called out. Birthday guest at three o'clock! The toys ran to the window. Even though Woody was trying to keep them calm, they were getting scared. The toys gasped. Andy would be getting new toys sooner than they expected. Sergeant, establish a recon post downstairs. Code red. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Woody sent a group of Green Army men to keep an eye out for new toys. Woody and the others nervously listened to the Green Army men's reports. There was a surprise gift. It's a huge package. Oh, what the, it's, it's a... His name was Buzz Lightyear. Woody peeked at the cool new toy. This is my spot, see, the bed here. Buzz pressed a button and wings popped out from his back. All the toys were impressed except for Woody. These are plastic, he can't fly. To infinity and beyond. All the toys cheered. Woody couldn't believe it. You know, in a couple of days, everything will be just the way it was. They'll see. I'm still Andy's favorite toy. Woody was jealous of Andy playing with Buzz so much. One day, Woody was trying to make sure Andy chose him over Buzz. But he accidentally knocked Buzz out of the window. <laughs> Just then, Andy picked up Woody and carried him out to the van. Buzz, who had landed in a nearby bush, raced after the van and jumped onto the bumper. The van pulled into a gas station. Woody tried to explain to Buzz that he really was a toy, but Buzz thought he was a real space ranger with a mission to complete. The two of them got into a big fight and fell out of the van. Then the van drove away. A Pizza Planet delivery truck pulled into the gas station. Woody convinced Buzz that the truck could help get him back to his planet. Soon the two toys arrived at Pizza Planet. Buzz looked around in amazement. What a spaceport! Buzz 
Buzz jumped inside a game shaped like a rocket. Woody followed Buzz into the claw game, but he was scared when he saw who was playing. It was Sid, Andy's mean neighbor who destroyed toys for fun. Sid grabbed Woody and Buzz and took both of them home. The next morning, Sid woke up and went downstairs. Woody and Buzz quickly left the room. A voice rang out. Calling Buzz Lightyear! This is Star Command! Buzz realized Woody had been right all along. He was just a toy. Just a toy. Woody glared at him. Look, over in that house is a kid who thinks you are the greatest. You are his toy. All of a sudden, Sid's alarm clock rang. He jumped out of bed, grabbed Buzz, and ran outside. Woody convinced Sid's toys to help him save Buzz. Sid spotted Woody in the grass and picked him up. From now on, you must take good care of your toys. Because if you don't, we'll find out, Sid. Woody's plan worked. Sid was scared. He ran into the house, screaming. Next door, Andy's family and their moving truck were leaving. Buzz and Woody raced after the truck. RC car picked up Buzz and Woody and raced back to the truck. Just as Slinky Dog was about to grab them, RC Car's batteries ran out. Luckily, Woody and Buzz had an idea. The cowboy lit the fuse on Buzz's rocket. The toys shot straight into the air. Buzz popped open his wings, setting the rocket free before it could explode. The two of them glided over the van where Andy was. They fell through the open sunroof and into a box. When Andy turned around, he let out a happy yell. Hey, wow! Woody, Buzz! He had missed his two favorite toys. <laughs> 